space travelers surround me Hark now to the ballad of Rockin' Robin Hood I may well confound you, astound you, spellbound you With heroes and villains, the bad and the good Watch now as our rockets race here from afar For now with our Robin we live on a star in outer space floats the Sherwood asteroid, home of Rocket Robin Hood and his rollicking band of merry men. Giles the cook is trying to prepare breakfast on his solar stove, despite some distractions. You're slowing up, you great long-headed ox! And you, Friar Tuck, are getting so fat and round Someday you'll go right into orbit. <laughs> While you make jokes, I'm trying to cook breakfast before Rocket Robin gets back. Now get out of my kitchen. Go on. Come on, little John. Pay no attention to that galactic goof. You grinning space apes. You're all muscles and no brain. Why, I'm a better man than any of you. At creating garbage, Giles, you have no equal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, the Dale, that's the funniest prank you ever hatched. Let's do it. Giles, maybe you are the best man here. Oh, oh what do you mean? Take this electro quarterstaff and find out. Who? Who? Me? I have no time. The meal is a mess. Take the staff, Giles, and use it. That's an order. Yes, sir. <laughs> Aim for his head, Giles. It's as empty as the void between Jupiter and Saturn. You just might knock some sense into it. Hit him hard, Giles! <laughs> Your staff is swifter than the fastest meteor! Whack the cosmic dust out of his hair, Giles! <laughs> Giles wins! Hooray! He's the better man! Good for him! Giles! Giles! Stop! Stop! You've won! <laughs> oh, I did! I did! You have defeated the strongest man in the entire band in hand-to-hand -hand combat! Uh, well, I, I didn't intend to hit him so hard. Sometimes I don't know my own strength. Oh, oh I never should have fought with someone as mighty as Giles the Great. <laughs> Giles the Great! A homing arrow. Maybe it's news from Rocket Robin. No. This message is from a friend in the fortress of Nott. 
The evil tyrant, Prince John, has imprisoned more good men to terrify the oppressed peasants. If only we could rescue those prisoners. But the fortress is so heavily guarded. Only a miracle can save them. Only a miracle, eh? Here's an important note for Robin Hood. Give it to him when he returns. Where are you going, child? I must fly off among the stars to an important date with destiny. I wonder what he meant by an important date with destiny. I'll bet he's going to joust with a space dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Little do they know that I, Giles the Great, with my unbeatable prowess, will single-handedly penetrate the Fortress of Nott, defeat all opposition, and capture the Prince of Evil. That'll force his underlings to free the captives. <laughs> Rockets Robin Hood's mightiest astro battler, Giles the Great. No one can stop me from capturing Prince John. <laughs> Defend yourselves. <laughs> Great Ganymede, if this flea is the strongest man in Rocket Robin's band, why didn't we defeat that outlaw pack long ago? I don't understand this. I'm supposed to be the greatest. Captain, this interstellar insect admits he is one of Rocket Robin's space rogues. He came to attack Prince John. Thank you for saving me the bother of hunting you down, you cosmic vulture. Traitor, you will die for plotting against Prince John. Is the brief adventurous career of Giles the Great about to come to a tragic end? Will the good-natured prank of Giles' comrades cause the death of Rocket Robin Hood's favorite cook? of outer planetary space is new Sherwood Forest Asteroid. Fantastic headquarters of that swashbuckling cosmic highwayman of the 30th century, Rocket Robin Hood. Yes, here comes the one and only Rocket Robin Hood, gliding through galaxies in his search for star-shattering adventure. The interplanetary villains quiver in their space boots when they hear the merry ring of his laughter and feel the blast of his mighty electro quarterstaff. Rocket Robin Hood, fun-loving astral adventurer in the astonishing years to come. Rocket Robin Hood, the happy outlaw of outer planetary space, is a direct descendant of Robin Hood of old. He's fast, with a joyful laugh, a ready jest, and a quiver full of futuristic arrows Robin robs from the cosmic rich to give to the astral poor. He's fun. He's fantastic. Robin Hood, merriest of the merry men in the astounding year 3000. Rocket Robin's comrades tricked Giles the cook into believing he was the mightiest fighter of them all. What began as a joke boomeranged when Giles sneaked into the fortress of Knott in a harebrained attempt to outwit Prince John single-handed. Traitor, you shall die. 
Why do you annoy your sire with this commotion? A thousand pardons, Prince John, but this space dog admits that he belongs to Robin Hood's band. He will pay with his life for plotting against your highness. Stop, you idiot. He may possess vital information. To the torture chamber with him. Speak. Tell me the exact location of Rocket Robin's secret asteroid. Who can say? One hour it's here, next hour it's there. Its ionic drive propulsion complex sends it anywhere Rocket Robin wants. Show him the punishments we have for fools who refuse to give information willingly. A gamma particle atom smasher. Yes, and here's a carnivorous octopus plant flown here from a planet that revolves about the star Vega. Huh. <laughs> Tell me all the secrets of Robin's pack of space rogues. I don't know any secrets. I'm just Giles. I'm the cook. Well, then, perhaps you'll do a little cooking yourself. Talk! You look thirsty. Would you like some water? <laughs> yes, water. Yes. Tell me what I want to know when you will have all the water you want. Okay. While our reluctant guest wonders what other unpleasant surprises we have for him, I will dine. Bring my food. Ah, I can hardly dent it. What a pity a person of your great importance has to put up with such vile food. <laughs> Thanks to me, Robin eats like a king, while you eat like an outlaw. You are that good a cook? The meat is as hard as a meteorite, because it wasn't hung long enough. Now, if I had prepared it for your enjoyment, I'd have used special spices taken from mutant plants from planet 21K. I'd have used delectable fruits from Erlac, the outermost planet in your intergalactic territories. And I'd have marinated the meat so deliciously that the exquisite taste of it <laughs> would have almost teleported you into a paradise of bliss. Enough. Enough. Guards, on time. Now, if you fail to prepare me a meal fit for a king, I promise that you'll be slain on the spot. Take him to the kitchen. <laughs> I tell you, Robin, you should have seen Giles' face when he thought he'd won. He was puffed up like a bullfrog. Oh, yes, and uh, Giles the Great left this note for you. He said that he had an important date with destiny. This note says that Giles has jetted to the fortress of Nott. He plans to capture Prince John single-handed, so that the tyrant's men will be forced to release the innocent captives. Oh, no. We were only joking. We shouldn't have done it. Why, the... I mean, he'll be killed. Not if we can help it. Come, lads. We're off to rescue Giles the Great. Now, who would think that they would be smart enough to invent a force field that big? Yes. I've seen them used for guarding doors, but this one... One step into the magnetic field and you'd fry like an onion. Prince John wants to know how soon you'll have his dinner ready. Maybe never if you don't stop bothering me. I can't work while I'm being watched, so get out! I'm warning you, it'd better be a great meal. Get out! Great meal, eh? Fit for a king. <laughs> Let's see now, um, mustard. <laughs> Hot peppers and a little Tabasco. <laughs> Your dinner, sire. It's about time. I'm as hungry as a Plutonian wolf. <laughs> Poisoned! Ah, I've been poisoned! So, we have a practical joker here! Wait and 
until you see my little joke. An ionic thermal ray gun. I'll fry your gizzard for this. Take him away to the torture chamber. The strongest member of Rocket Robin Hood's band is Little John, the brawniest spaceman ever to rocket through the cosmos in the fantastic years to come. This Goliath of the galaxies has the might of a cosmic Hercules, the brute force of an unleashed meteor, combined with a truly super weapon, the Electro Quarterstaff. Little John, whose great strength is tempered with a simple, good-hearted kindness toward all living things. Mightiest of Rocket Robin Hood's merry men in the amazing years to come, Little John. When the problems of Rocket Robin Hood call for heavy thinking, then it's time for the one and only Friar Tuck to come to the rescue. Some, like the wicked sheriff of Knott, think him fat, foolish, and not worth worrying about. But don't you believe it. Friar Tuck, whose courage is as tremendous as his appetite, is just one of the astounding space characters in the merry band of Rocket Robin Hood in the fantastic years to come. Robin's cook was captured by Prince John and forced to make him a dinner. He spiced the food with mustard, hot peppers, and Tabasco, which Prince John ate with disastrous results for Giles. Impudent space dog. It amused you to try to poison me with hot spices. Now it's my turn to be amused, as my ionic thermal ray gives you a, <laughs> shall we say, hot time? <laughs> the problem is, how do we get by that force field? There's another problem. I'm hungry. How about you, Friar Tuck? I'm so starved that if my mouth waters anymore, I'll drown. Well, you'll just have to pull your belts a little tighter and do some thinking. We have no way to get through that force field. It would take a demagnetizer as big as a house to blast through that. Wait, I have an idea. A wise man once said, if you can't beat them, join them. You mean we should join the sheriff? Exactly. Now listen carefully. We will pretend that you have captain. Captain, there are three men approaching the drawbridge. We'll find out who they are. Hurry up there, open up. Delta Patrol reporting with a prisoner. We haven't been instructed about any Delta Patrol. We don't care about your instructions. We were instructed to go out and capture Rocket Robin Hood. And we did. Come on, open up. Rocket Robin Hood? Yes, sir. <laughs> permission. You fool! Those are Robin Hood's men. Reactivate the force field at once. Don't make a move. Call the guard. i 
cover while I get off this boomerang. You have one instant to speak, and I want the truth. Where is my cook, Giles? You mean the, the, the little... Oh, him. There's nothing you can do for him now. He's in the dungeon, being tortured by Prince John. Don't try to spit this out. We'll be coming back this way. Come on, men. I hope we're not too late. For the last time, where is Rocket Robin Hood? Right behind you, my lord. <laughs> Every last one of you traitors will die for this. I doubt that, Your Grace. I bid you good night and good appetite. Anyway, we're very sorry we fooled you into thinking that you were a good fighter. Now, little John, you know I'm not one to hold a grudge. Besides, you saved my life. So, sit down, my friends, and enjoy the finest feast I've ever created. Thanks, Giles. Oh, I'm half starved. Me too. Look at that fool! Don't eat yet, Robin. I have a surprise for you. Softly, my lads. Don't go spinning off orbit. One good prank deserves another. Right? Right. When it comes to playing jokes, I'm still Giles the Great. enemy of Rocket Robin Hood is the cruel space tyrant Prince John, despot ruler of the National Outer Space Terrestrial Territories. With the help of the wicked Sheriff of Knott, the Black Prince plans for that terrible day when he will destroy and conquer the entire solar system. Well, he might, if it were not for Rocket Robin Hood. Rocket Robin Hood, outlaw defender of right in the astounding years to come. <laughs> Joyous shout throughout the